Hey guys, welcome to episode two of the Monte Carlo Build. I do want to know what you guys think about this format. You know, uh, you see me building. I guess this is to show and prove that I'm building these things. But I do want to make this more educational and talk to you through my method, which I'm still learning. So I ask that you write down in the comments below what do you want to see more of? What do you think? would that i could do where you could benefit from this these videos because uh i don't want to be selfish i don't want to do it just for me but anybody out there who wants to you know learn how to build um because i do have some experience and i'm still learning so right now i'm actually painting the interior the seats uh a little tan and you know, doing it with a hand brush. And this is one thing I did learn is that, um, well, with airbrush paint, because it goes on so lightly that you have to do like several coats before you start seeing any kind of cohesiveness. And so I've been using layers and the more layers I put, the more happy I am. And I really have to look through these with like a fine tooth comb visually because you know i don't have the greatest vision of certain things that i miss and things like that so yeah but um i actually ended up putting this entire monte carlo in a solution of super clean because i'm going to start this over and really do it better with rattle cans so i moved over to rattle cans and i don't think i'm ever moving back i mean i might occasionally do some airbrushing here and there but yeah again if you like what you see and you want to see me do more and better productions consider um supporting me on patreon under i am dave gregory i'm still working on the tiers but you know you can do as little as a dollar and you can do as much as a thousand dollars no more than a thousand dollars because i just won't accept that i'm totally kidding but uh yeah uh, if you want to support me, that'd be great. But yeah, I, I love doing this. This keeps me sane <laughs> when I'm not in school. And I know the production is going to get a lot better once I start learning more with film school and everything like that. But yeah, the Monte Carlo is a beautiful car. And I actually am going to learn how to do some upholstery and some real dope things i mean like the stuff that i got coming up oh man i i, I definitely plan on standing out like a turd in a punch bowl <laughs> but yeah um let me know what you think let me know what you want to see right in the comments below i do read and reply to all comments and yeah unfortunately you know youtube has been like really going down on like negative negative comments I personally like negative comments. I think they're hilarious. You know, I can appreciate, you know, good jokes. But if you have anything constructive to say, I'd appreciate that. Obviously, if you should say things, anything to me, and I'm not going to take you seriously, and I might just clap back. But yeah. Um, <clears throat> so here, I am actually assembling something. Um, so the best, the best glue for modeling in my opinion is the thing is the stuff you have to brush on because the other stuff is just too thick you know you can't really get precise dabbing with you know those with the other methods and yesterday my mother spilled my entire jar of cement and i have to go out today and get some more because I have no way of putting models together. But right now in the preparation stage, I'm working on a pickup truck, a Ford pickup truck for a friend. This is my first friend build, and I'm really excited because the body's coming out deliciously. The preparation to even do the rattle can is something I'm learning, and there's a lot of work that goes into it. So I can see why when somebody sells these model cars, why they cost so much because there's a lot of work that goes into it. Like for instance, if I wanted to start doing things like cutting doors, that takes at least a day and a half to do and to do it properly and not, you know, uh, cause I've tried cutting doors and totally ruined my model because you're, you're dealing with styrene, which is not like a super strong plastic. 
and you're using an exacto knife to cut these doors so you have to be really careful you got to go really slow and be really precise make sure you don't move the lines because i did move the line when i was doing it <clears throat> i was you know scraping scraping and then i moved out of the line of scraping and it just it, it was just yeah oh this is me attempting to polish this dull ass car <laughs> so i just said you know what let me take this l because there's no way this is happening you know the paint job was just disgusting i didn't do a good job with the clear and granted i just didn't know what i was doing i really didn't you know and i really learned on how to really put clear on a vehicle on, on a model you got to do several coats and there's a certain way you got to spray on spray it on there you know and so i'm really happy that i learned that and i want to give a shout out to r scott davy who shall be on youtube and social media soon even though he says he hates it i'm like dude you got to get your stuff out there this is not 1998 you really got to get your stuff out on the internet dude there's some really really good work he's got but i want to thank you guys for watching all right you guys have a great day deuces